Well, we're told that a cook <clears throat> filled a pressure cooker with um, three kilograms of water. And <clears throat> I'm going to kind of drop the units on all these things. And we're going to assume, um, just because <laughs> it's a lot of writing to make the units. So we're going to assume everything's in kilograms, kilojoules, Kelvin. Oh, no, not Kelvin. Degrees C and kilopascals. <laughs> so we have three kilograms of water at 20 degrees C that's filled into the pressure cooker. The pressure cooker has a maximum pressure um, before a release or a relief valve um, opens up of 200 kilopascals. <coughs> and then, <coughs> um, and the steam escapes um, to maintain a pressure. Okay, so again, the steam escapes so that <coughs> if we get up to this pressure, the steam will escape and we'll have a constant pressure process. Um, we want to know how much entropy was generated in throttling of the steam through the vent to um, 100 kilopascal, so again, surrounding pressure. So as it pressurized and then it got it over got over pressurized and it throttled, and we want to figure out the entropy generated. Um, now this is going to be um, we're going to assume that there's no um, the enthalpy is the same um, throughout the process. Um, well, yeah. So we have, um, let's see here. Uh, oh, we, we assume that, oh, not, well, that, that as it flows out, the enthalpy is, um, is a constant. So I guess it would be the, uh, change from two to three, two and three is, as the same. Okay. So as it goes across the valve, we have a constant constant enthalpy yeah that makes sense so now we have the cotton you know mass conservation okay and energy conservation and entropy equation and we're assuming that it's um reversible so that there's no entropy being generated or is wait a minute are we uh yeah yeah we assume the um Yeah, okay, so again, we, uh, if we know that the uh, temperature, okay, <coughs> so it's an internally reversible process, um, not externally reversible. Um, anyway, so that, that uh, the, the um, entropy generated here from, um, from one to two as we heated it up is, um, is zero. So, we have, let's see here, um, we can figure out the, well, it was liquid to begin with, so we're assuming it was just a saturated liquid, and we can, so that's the specific volume, so we can get the total volume, that's 0 0.03 cubic meters, or that would be, uh, I guess, 3 liters. Um, we know then that the, um, let's see here, why are we, we know that the, so he forgets about it, and M2, oh right, he told us this, half the original mass escapes, so the mass in the, in the pressure cooker after the relief valve has um, closed back down is, um, zero or uh, one point five kilograms, which also means that the specific volume is twice that it was initially, and we know that the pressure is a hundred uh two hundred kilopascals. So we know the stuff that's escaping is saturated vapor, so we know the enthalpy of that. And, and we know the um, specific entropy of that also. Now, um, and again, because we know, uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, that's what's that's exiting. Um, so we can figure out the... We can figure out, let's see here. 
we can figure out the well across the valve like I said up here H3 is the same as what's exiting so we have H exit here and H3 here and then we have the valve um, we know from entropy that the um, that the uh, entropy in the third state is the entropy in the um, that's exited plus the entropy that was generated across that valve Okay, so we basically look at a control volume around, well, that looks bad, control volume around the valve here. And so then we find out that the temperature that um, of the stuff that is uh, remaining after it's exited, so the stuff that's left in here, has to be at 115.2 degrees Celsius. Um, so obviously it's heated up. Um, and it's again, it's above uh, above the atmospheric boiling point of water because it's um, at a higher pressure, and that's why we have use a pressure cooker. So then we can figure out what the entropy is in um, in the third state, and that means we can figure out that the um, so let's see here, where did we? Yeah, we get we got this from knowing this. Um, and because we knew, we knew, um, we know this, so we can get this, and we know the pressure, and so we can get that, and then we can get um, the entropy, and then now we can use this to figure out that the total entropy generated um, is the mass of what's exited times the change in specific, well, not really the change, it's not really a change, it's the difference between the specific entropy that was coming into the valve, and that is what's leaving the valve. And that turns out to be um, 0 0.466 kilojoules per Kelvin.